me a little bit about the location and nature of the site this house sits on. It's uh, quite a small site, uh, an urban location, um, a suburb of Kuala Lumpur. Um, it's interesting in as much that it, the rear of the site is about four or, four or so metres above the road level behind the site, not the entrance site. So we enter from one, the road on one side and then it's uh, elevated from the road behind. And that road has some uh, quite beautiful trees, mature trees all along it. So that was an important influence of the site. Your work puts a strong emphasis on sustainable design, so what are some of the commonplace sustainable design features you've given to this house? Well, more passive features will be the um, overhangs. We've got large overhangs. Because, it face, because the orientation is east-west, we have to actually shade to those orientations as much as possible. And then we do that with um, roof overhangs. We also use uh, planting extensively, inside and outside, and uh, we use that for shading as well. That's an important design element. Um, low maintenance is also another element which is important here, because the tropics, the sun and the rain, is quite um, detrimental, let's put it that way, to building here. So we actually use materials that need little maintenance. Another material you've used here is, is bamboo. How, how have you used it and, and what are its advantages? We've used it in a non-structural way. We've used it, uh, but it, it is in a functional way. So we've used it for sunscreens. It's whole treated bamboo. So it's the whole bamboo cut as straight as possible and uh, different diameters, which we like to give that irregular feeling and, and regular spacing. So it creates like a sunscreen. We also use uh, passive features like the solar chimney that actually is designed to naturally ventilate the house. In other words, we create hot air or we heat hot air out by the sun at the top of the chimney under the sun, under glass. We ha then we have permanent ventilation out from that. Now, as that hot air exhausts out, it actually draws in air from lower down the house, which actually creates this sort of ventilation, this sort of uh, circular movement of air. It also creates a very intimate house because you can look right down from the top down to the front door or to any level, look to the children's bedroom, from the master bedroom and etc.